right, today's the day whether I find out a log cabin is in my future. It's the second week of July up here in Alaska. I've got this great stand of black spruce here that could be used, but I need to find out if these trees are gonna peel this time of year. The sap should still be running a bit in these trees, enabling me to get the bark off easily. I've got these trees to take out yet in the trail. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring them down and see how they peel up. Bugs are bad this year. Oh yeah, that's what you want to see right there. I can peel it back with just my fingers and it's just wet like a greased pig. So that is great news. There's, there's where I'm coming in and here's my stand of spruce. And way up there on the ridge is where I want my cabin so the first thing I need to do is drop these logs and peel them and let them sit a year. So this is just the first stage of this project. I'm going to need about, I don't know, 50 logs. There's my future log cabin standing right in front of us. I definitely have my work cut out for me. But this is something I've been wanting to do my entire life. I'm not getting any younger, so let's go. So the cabin I want to build is in the style of Dick Prenicky, who built the cabin at the Twin Lakes in South Central Alaska. You know, he's iconic. I'm not going to do his kind of work, obviously. I've never done this, so it'll be a learning experience. But his cabin was about 12 by 16, about 11 by 15 inside. I just need to get to work. I'm going to I'm going to try to get logs between 17 and 20 foot long. Just pile them up and I'll use them as they get put in place, but first of all, I got to do it. It is so sticky, you wouldn't believe it. Look at this. Look at this beautiful log. It's so lovely. Good start. It's always good when they land where you want them to land. Good firewood there. This is a good eight incher here. I gotta save this dragonfly. He's alive. Let's take you somewhere else, buddy. Back into the forest. He was chill out there. Beautiful log. There we go. Okay. This is, this is a sweaty girl.
It took about 35 minutes, so that's good. Yeah. Good boy. It's hung up. Use your legs. Come on, man. This is stupid. Horse and a log. Make one more pull, we'll have it. Yeah. Another big one, eight incher. Big, big tree. I'll get two logs out of that. Look at this. Found some moose bones and some poop. It's crazy. It's like bark tile, bark linoleum. That's a wrap for today. That's good progress. I am beyond gross and sticky. No real shower. Just gonna do a kettle bath. A couple gallons of water will make all the difference. So food, food and cleanness coming my way. I just got cleaned up here in my screen tent, which is just wonderful. Had a kettle bath. <laughs> That is some dirty water. It's like my put soap in water and this is like my rinse water. Oh, they're just, they're just disgusting. It is so nice to be back in camp and cleaned up. I can't even tell you, I am so hungry. I think I may drive like 20 miles for tacos. That, that's, that's what I'm doing. Started day three. Not too big to handle though. Holy cow, this one's kicking my butt. It was crowded by that last tree I just dropped. So all the branches grew very strong on this side. Holy smokes. It's too early. Maybe that's a good thing. logs in one hour. Very happy with that. They're small logs though, but that's good progress. It's starting to get a little breezy, which is not good for dropping trees. I'm leaning in. Got a nice little window here. 
see if I can place it correctly. Dang it. I missed it by just a little. Shoot. That, that sucks. Ugh. That one's hung up now. Come on. Come on. Come on, keep going. Okay, twofer. I wanted that one down anyway, but I don't know, man. This one's full of ants. Look at this. Look at that stump. I don't know. The end of it's bad. We'll see what the rest of it looks like. Just gotta power through and find solutions. Can't leave stuff hung up and you gotta be safe. You do the best you can. This was the one I kept. I just kept cutting off cookies till I got to a good part. You can see that I had lost about a foot, two feet off this one. And the one I cut back here, it's totally bad, whole thing. Whole, the whole tree is a bust, so I just used it for stickers and uh, had to cut a new one, so now it's time for a break. Oh, the breeze is nice, but it's not good for felling. She's a big one. Beat. Is it for today? What day? I am sweating through and through. Very tired. Good day. Sometimes you have to excuse me. I let myself get lost up in my mind. And I go to my countryside. Take some time, remember tonight. Sit by the fire, Ooh. leaning back. So watching hot. the red sky sunset. Let those bare feet sway and sway. Do that. Trees. 
Soul girl, soul girl, I tell ya. That's a wrap for today. It's been a long one. I got seven done. Brutal when it's hot, but good progress today. Day four, seven logs. Start of day five. I'm at it a little earlier today because it's supposed to be warming up this week even more. I can't deal with it. So here we go. I have a target of seven logs today. If you think I know what I'm doing, I don't. But I do know that to build a log cabin, you need logs. And right now the sap is running and the peeling of the bark is easy. So that's all I'm thinking about. The next phase, I'll worry about that when I get there. I'll worry about moving the logs when I get there. I'll worry about the saddle notch when I get there. I'll worry about everything when I get there. All I need right now is logs. So that's what I'm doing. Keep my energy up to get it done. If I was to think about the whole process of building a log cabin, I'd never get started. It's too overwhelming to think about the whole process as one. Just the logs right now. Just the logs. I just gotta do the logs. It's all I'm obsessed about. It's all I dream about at night. I can't even sleep till I get these logs done. One log at a time, one day at a time. So this is one of these logs you don't know it's crooked till you get it on the ground. Luckily, it's just the top half, but wow, this thing is like roller coaster. So I cut it here. I'll be able to get a good log here with it and we'll call it good. Another eight incher.
Well, that's four logs. It's quarter to one. I'm going to take a lunch break. Hopefully get three more today. It's a nice like nine inch, eight when it's dry probably. Big log, it's good. Probably some of you wondering if there's something, anything I can do with this bark that I'm pulling off. But, uh, I mean, you could maybe make a couple bowls or something if you wanted to do like a bark basket or a bark bowl. But, you know, I'm dropping like 50 plus trees. Um, it's just going to get dried and burned. There's nothing I'm going to do with it. It's just going to get really dry and brittle. It would be a messy basket, like the bark would just keep, you know, coming off. As it gets dry, this just this is just a you know it gets really dry and stiff and and uh but you know it'd probably be pretty cool to make something out of it, but maybe some other time <laughs> because this log cabin is a big giant project. I I can do that some other time. I don't need more projects. <laughs> Right, day five is a wrap I got seven trees I'm, I'm a little ahead of schedule which is good I got a rain day tomorrow we're gonna get a lot of rain so I won't, I won't be working tomorrow which is fine I need a day off I'm gonna keep working this way more good trees I'm just kind of making a big circle well it's day six of logging and the next few days are forecast to be just brutally hot today 76 and then the 80s after that. I'm up early. I'll probably only be able to work half days because it's just too hard to work in this kind of heat coming up. I need about probably 17 more logs. So 
maybe three more days of logging if I'm lucky. So until I'm just working my way through the forest here trying to mine out the, the good cabin logs. So we're getting there. Oh, the first log's always the hardest. Get the back moving again. Get the body warmed up. Feel the work sink in. One of the things that'll slow you down is just taking care of the mess of dropping the tree. Once I get it limbed, you gotta clean up all the all the branches, I get them in a pile so they can be burned later. But also it just keeps my work area clean because I'm constantly dropping trees. Then I also have the whole top of the tree to deal with that needs to get out of the way. I usually cut it up, put it into poles. I get rid of the branches, use the poles for stickers and uh, or, or just put them in as poles to burn for firewood later. But keeping this all cleaned up as I go is its own job which you know slows you down but at the end of the day really makes your work more efficient but it's just a slow process but if you don't do it you're tripping over everything so when it snows when it's wet giant in the fall when it's raining I can burn this stuff it'll be gone then the forest will just be opened up and cleaned up, which actually is kind of nice too. Also, once I get the branches off and it's cleaned up, I can see what I missed and go back through. And then on to peeling. And if you can limb in the direction down towards the base of the tree, uh, the limbs snap off cleaner. It's a cleaner break. We need a Christmas tree. <laughs> She's a skinny one, but she's a beauty. That would actually make a beautiful Christmas tree. Christmas in July. Oh. The beast. Okay. Now I can get to this log. So this is the biggest fail of a log I've cut so far. It is so crooked in so many places. When I get it peeled, you'll know. I'm, I'm not gonna waste this log. I'll probably be able to use sections of it, but it is, it is wonky. I need to pay attention. <laughs> oh my goodness. This log here is crazy crooked. I might be able to use this lower half. It is crooked too. This sucker's bad. Now sometimes they're just too disguised by all the branches. But it is what it is. I'll use it somewhere in portions or something. Porch pole? <laughs> Nice looking log. 
Tough part about logging in a dense forest like this is trying to get these trees on the ground, hitting your lanes, judging the lean of the tree right. But when it comes together, it's so satisfying. Just so you know, I'm keeping it perfectly real. This also has happened a couple times. Hopelessly falling the wrong way into a mass of trees that I didn't have cleared for an opening. So yeah, that just makes me mad. But it's down. Still in the trees pretty good. Oops. Okay, got a little sideways there. Still gotta work at getting this one out though. Ugh. Yeah, that is a wrap for today. I'm exhausted. Time for a kettle bath and a sit down, some shorts. This right here, that's lager food. <laughs> mm. Well, it's day seven, I'm back on the job this morning. It's gonna be 80 today. So I'm getting a good early start. It's also a sad day, because I can no longer wear my, oh, my other favorite pants. They've been retired. We'll get this job done. The end is in sight. I will have my 50 logs by tomorrow. They're still brutal. Found this yesterday in a tree I dropped a couple days ago. Glad that wasn't bigger and it didn't get ugly. Yeah. 
You guys want to see something horrifying? I dropped this tree because it was in the way of another one. I thought, oh, I'll clean it up. And this is what the bark is like when the sap is not running. It, you have to draw a knife. Absolutely. Every inch of it. As opposed to it coming off all nice in one sheet. This, this is back breaking work here. So this tree is partially dead. So sap wasn't running, but that's what you have to do. If sap's not running, it's ridiculous. Well, that's a wrap for today. It's probably hitting close to 80. And uh, I did good, I got six done. Getting really close to being done with this, so. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. Let's start again in the morning. So this is day eight of my logging project back at the work site. Make my way back to where I'm currently logging. There's just trees everywhere. It's actually really nice to be opening up this forest. And once I get this place cleaned out, it's gonna be nice. But I'm way back here. Hi, buddy. Hi. Way back here. I'm doing like this big giant circle, basically. Around this 
area. And I have some really nice trees today. I gotta get to them before the sun hits this spot. So, I've got 45 trees down. I'd like to get about five more. Oh, getting started is the hardest part. And I hate doing this, but they're swarming me already. Thank you, Lord, for these beautiful trees you've given me to build this cabin. It's a beauty. It's a big one. Probably get two logs out of this one. It's just a joy. I don't take it for granted that I live in a place where I can do this. Um, other countries, you, you can't even think about doing this. You can't even own land. You can't cut trees. And these trees are so thick in here. This is really doing the forest a favor, opening it up so the rest of the trees that are left can grow big and another 20, 30 years, come in here and harvest another cabin or five. So it is a blessing I don't take for granted. I just dropped this tree and then turned my saw off and I hear more buzzing than I should be hearing without my saw on. And I dropped it over a ground nest of yellow jackets. So I'm gonna try to move this log off to the side. Otherwise I'm not gonna be able to deal with it. So far everybody's cool. Nobody's freaking out. I'm away from them now. I kind of don't want to turn my back on them though. <laughs> All right, day eight's a wrap. I'm getting rained on. Did four logs, another little burl tree. I guess it's time to stop, which is fine. I'm ready. See you tomorrow. All right, here's the deal. It's day nine and I've got 50 plus logs on the ground. Some of these trees were big enough. I got a couple logs out of them. One main log, one smaller, shorter diameter log. But I have 50 logs down and that was my target. Um, I'm kind of obsessed. I just want to keep going. I want to make sure I have enough logs. But there's also some burl logs I want to get down and work on. And it's supposed to be 86 here today. Um, if you thought interior Alaska didn't get hot... <laughs> It really gets hot. It's one of the most extreme places on earth where you get these really hot days and you get these extremely cold 40, 50, 60 below winter nights as well. I'm only gonna work for a couple hours um, and maybe drop another tree or two. I don't know. I need to be done. I need to just stop myself, but I just wanna make sure I have enough logs because next year when these are dry, you know, and if I'm short one, I'll, you know, cutting a log and having it be green is not ideal. So I may drop a couple trees, do a couple burls. I swear, I swear that's it for today. Probably by 11, it'll be too hot. get that burl. Hello. Come to see the cool burls. 
That'd be cool. It's going to be a slow process. It's just goo. Amazing. I've had so much sap in my braids. I've had to cut off like an inch. <laughs> Last night I just had to put oil all over this one just to get the sap out because I just drip through all this stuff and these this burl log is gonna be something these burls are really a struggle i've been at this a long time now probably 45 minutes i'm not even halfway done wow i'm like dr pimple popper <laughs> you know uh there's a show on cable called dr pimple popper I don't have cable, but my mom does. She likes that show. So I feel like Dr. Pimple Popper. <laughs> when I get this done, I'll have to really sand it next year because I'm gouging it up pretty good. All right, there she is. She's all done. That was so brutal. Some of these burls were dry. It's going to look good. But, wow, that was tough. Oh, my. I got a blister out of that one. And that is 52 logs down. Probably about 55, 56 cut. So, this is where I started. And then I came back this way. This girl is beat. The branches had burls too, so I'm gonna try to make a spoon out of this one. Did you see it? A little spoon. <laughs> so that was phase one of this cabin build. Oh, glad that's over. If you wanna see how I'm gonna move these logs and stage them for winter, stay tuned to the next video. And thanks for watching, guys. Until then, scroll in the woods. She gone. Oh, don't forget to get outside and get happy.